Hi, I'm Lauren Simmons, and I made history in 2017 by becoming the youngest trader ever at the New York Stock Exchange, as well as the second African-American equity trader to work down there. And the exchange is now 240 years. One of the most important things I learned to watch out for is lifestyle creep. When I started making more money, and how to combat that. When I first started working on Wall Street, my first job, I was making $12,000 at the New York Stock Exchange. Once I left Wall Street and started making well into six figures, or even today, I continue to save 85% of my income as I did when I was making 12,000 and 85% still to this day. And one of the reasons why is because lifestyle inflation will creep up on you. You'll wanna go out more, you'll wanna live, you'll wanna spend more. And that is an easy, easy way of getting into a habit of maintaining debt or living above your means. If it worked for you at a certain dollar amount, it will work for you at a higher dollar amount. Another tip that I learned is being able to have an emergency fund set up for six to 12 months for a rainy day for things like a global pandemic or something that is just absolutely unforeseen. It's not as hard as you guys probably think it is. Set up a 50-30-20 account. And what that is, is 50% goes to your day to day, your rent, your daily expenses, 30% goes to your wants, and 20% goes to your futures. And for the 20%, you break that down. And that is going to be your emergency fund, your savings fund. And that will help build up your six to 12 months that you need for a rainy day. One of the most important things that I learned on Wall Street is about risk tolerance. Risk tolerance is going to be able to dictate how you make investments. Whether you want to invest in new digital currencies, such as Bitcoin, or if you want to be more conservative like me and only put your money into a savings or a more traditional account. But regardless, knowing what your risk tolerance is will help dictate how you invest for your future.